Well, for the past 37 years, the Midwest Athletes Against Childhood Cancer, also known as the MAC Fund, has been improving the lives of kids and families affected by cancer and other blood disorders. So joining me now to talk about all that's happened over the past years is the executive director, John Kerry. Good morning, John. Good morning. Always a pleasure to see you. So 37 years ago, the MAC Fund started. It originated during a, a Bucks game. What have you been doing all these years? Uh, watching a lot of Bucks games. <laughs> you know. It's uh, originated on uh, December. 10th, 1976, when they retired John McLaughlin's jersey, the original Milwaukee Buck and the co-founder of the MAC Fund with Eddie Doucette. Eddie's little boy, Brett, was diagnosed with cancer a couple years earlier. He's now closing in on 40 years old and married and happy. And so the MAC Fund's been uh, real, pretty active doing a lot of different things to raise a bunch of money to give hope through research to kids. And when you say a bunch of money, you mean a lot of money. I think it's a lot. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, uh, it's uh, in excess, by year's end, it will be in excess of uh, $48 million. How do you raise that money? Is it, is it all from people in our community donating? Is it through organizations, a combination? It's a combination. Uh, we do about 75% of our income comes from special events. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything like the Trek 100 bike ride to the Bucks Mac Fun game to today's TMJ4 sports auction for Mac, the Mac Star, things like that. Um, and then people are kind to, you know, give us donations. And a lot of people will do events and they will designate funds to the MAC Fund, obviously corporations and foundations. So it's a, it's a wide range, but about 75% comes through some type of special event or program. Mm -hmm. And it's so uh, great that we have these special events in our community. So many people purchase the Mac Star. Mm -hmm. I, I've received one from you every year that I've lived here, and it's always something that I cherish. But it's important to remember that there are faces behind the Mac Star. Mm -hmm. There are people behind the special events that we're helping. And the, the cure rate, I think the expansion of that cure rate from 20% to 80% of mm -hmm. childhood cancer is a huge accomplishment, many of which those dollars have come from the MAC Fund for research. Yeah, the, the beauty of research is that it's, it's done locally, but it impacts the world. Mm -hmm. And even kids in that 80% can have what's called late effect issues. And that's still being researched you know, a, as we speak. There's a lot of people looking at that because more kids are living than ever, but you want their life to have a quality as they get older as well. So it's, I think one of the neat things is the way we raise money is we draw a lot of people in. We, we bring a lot of people in and we make everybody, I hope, feel like they're that difference because they are. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, to see a child who's struggling is always one of those things I think it, it touches everybody. Mm -hmm. they, you know, their lives are so short, they haven't experienced or, mm -hmm. or done much to, um, have things in their life that could affect them or cause cancer. So oftentimes it's just, you know, a, a childhood uh, event that has happened to them. Mm -hmm. How long has TMJ4 been involved? Um, Since 1981. 1981. 1981. And uh, we used to do a six-hour live, uh, live telethon. Now they've been wonderful to give us the uh, sports auction for MAC every December. It's a highlight of our year. It's a great way to cap off a great year. And it's uh, the kind of thing that, plus the Mac Star, plus what you do throughout so many, you know, different things. Um, really, today's Team J4 has made such an impact on the Mac Fund in, in telling a story that is a great story, not just for the Mac Fund, but it's a great story for this community and for this state. Absolutely. And here's the information for the MAC Fund so everyone can take part in the events and donations. It's 800-248-8735 or macfund.org.